is Emily. I'm a product expert here at Tally, and today I'm going to be walking you through your Tally credit card webinar. Before we begin, let's go over the three types of credit card connections. Number one, Bank Data Direct. This connection type is a secure connection between your credit card company and Tally, then set up by your administrator and assigned to you. With this connection type, transactions are uploaded nightly. Two, Single Card Connections. You would use this type of connection if you have your own unique set of credit card site credentials for the one card being added. If the card being added is connected to any other accounts or credit cards, this connection will fail. With this connection, transactions will become available three to five days after the posting date. Three, card profile for statement upload. You would use this type of connection if you would like to download your statement from your credit card site and upload it to Tally. With this type of connection, you can manually upload transactions as often as you'd like. For more information on these connection types and how to set them up, see the links in the description. Let's get started by heading to the credit card page. Now that we're on the credit card page, let's take a look at the Bank Data Direct connection. Keep in mind, this is what this connection would look like to an admin. Note, there are multiple cards in this connection and a bank icon in the corner. End users will only see one of these cards. To them, these connections will look more similar to the single card connection. Let's go over what this looks like now. This is a single card connection. The main difference to an end user between this connection and a Bank Data Direct connection is the icon in the corner. This is a card profile for statement upload. The main difference with this connection is the ability to upload a credit card statement using this link. For more information on how to set up these connections, see the links in the description. Before we move on, it's important to remember that you can mark any connection as non-reimbursable by checking this box here. You can also change the statement start date here and assign a different cardholder here. Let's move on to the Purchases page. Now that we're on the Purchases page, let's go over the types of credit card transactions. An orange card icon means that this transaction has been mapped to a corporate card. A blue card icon means that this is an imported corporate card expense. A gray card icon means that this is an imported reimbursable card expense. No icon means that this is a manually created reimbursable expense. You can merge two expenses as long as they are not both imported transactions. If you do select two imported transactions, the merge button will disappear. Otherwise, select both transactions and then hit Merge. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Emily, and as we like to say here at Tally, happy expense reporting.